will continue 24 hours a day until Monday morning, the day of the funeral, at 6.30 a.m. Now, the queue to see Her Majesty is currently around three miles long with people who've travelled from across the UK and from all over the world. They are joining it, and you can see just very close to where we are here how the queue has been condensed across the gardens, people back and forth in an airport-style arrangement. And then further along, they will go back over Lambeth Bridge, and the queue goes several miles, potentially, along the south bank of the River Thames, stretching east, currently around Black A decade Fires of royal Bridge. walkabouts has made Diana, Princess of Wales, a significant been public coming figure. Here to West She's Minister, now a polished performer, a modern-day symbol of beauty and glamour, that the, the photogenic uh, centrepiece of, of British royalty. She's seen as the open, away. accessible face of the royal family, who a skillful communicator, a caring campaigner, who shows a sincere understanding of other people's suffering. Until, as but I from said, beneath the professional exterior, serious the problems have emerged amidst dramatic funeral. press reports about her married life with Prince Charles. For several miles throughout that time from the Albert Embankment, following the River Thames More potentially as far as Southwark Park. So Wristbands will be given out During once a visit to join a hospice, the queue, but there her unease became very the evident is when the chairman praised her personal involvement with cancer sufferers. And as I mentioned, there is airport-style security, that is just as you approach the Palace of Westminster, once visitors have crossed Lambeth Bridge before they go in Such praise to for her work with the sick and needy there brought her close to tears. It was in sharp contrast to the confident, mature public image she's cultivated Britain. so successfully Local over the venues years. and museums, including the National Theatre and Shakespeare's Globe, will stay open for extended hours Set against hours the background of conventional British royalty, Diana's uncharacteristic be behaviour reveals a deep conflict within the royal marriage. But everyone is being asked Already to shaken the by the, the recent event, departure of the Duchess of York, silent, the British monarchy is now facing another marriage crisis with Palace potentially far greater consequences. Filming, photography history hit and the use of mobile is a streaming phones platform that is just for history buffs, with fantastic inside, documentaries covering but, uh, fascinating figures and is, uh, moments in history when you from get all over the world. Hall, We've got unrivaled access to the world's the leading historians hall itself, with hundreds of documentaries when they finally featuring reach everything from Boudicca to the British of the royal queue, family. They begin to We're committed to bringing history fans award-winning documentaries and podcasts is lying that you cannot find state, anywhere else. On top of Sign up now for a 14-day free trial, known as the and real royalty fans get 50% the off their first watch. Just be sure to use corners. code Real Royalty. They have a few seconds checkout. there before separation they move in public on. duties but, uh, is an inescapable out, part of being royal. But reports have revealed long that this enough, isolation is now part of their to personal feel that they have lives been too. Part of this, that they have been After 11 years of marriage, the cover's blown. A historic moment on an official visit to Egypt, Diana enjoys the spotlight, while Charles prefers to be by himself on a trip to Turkey. The queue, they seem happiest to part. Way they want to before they move this separation on has dramatic implications for the British monarchy. Uh, Just as the Duchess of York to refused to toe the line, is Diana yet another example of an outsider having to fight the royal system? Sleep. Well, the, the government's been posting updates not on the length and position the of the queue online. If you it don't is a YouTube you live out. stream, so you can that's absolutely get a, a sense VIII. of what, what happened to the Duke, uh, is of York. awaiting you if you come to now, London and you expect to join that queue now. It's, it's going it's, up. It's, it's gone just up 0.4 of a mile in the last hour. Diana sees William and Harry as her emotional anchor. Tower Bridge. They're her main reason for staying the royal course. She lavishes them with affection, cuddles and love. from where we are here, Frankie McCamley my colleague is with some people waiting Charles in the queue. Charles is seldom seen in public with his children, where you but are Diana and is always feel there to the support them at school ahead. events and take them on holidays. No matter what, their needs well, yes. come first. Good afternoon, uh, Karen. Memories well, as of her own disrupted me, childhood the and parents' divorce have influenced her determination to provide a secure to family Bridge, base for her which sons. Is next to the Tate Modern and St. Paul's. And as you can see, the queue's quite stagnant right now. Sometimes it moves and we're going at a bit of a walking pace and then it slows down. Uh, and, and it's just been now going with longer, her marriage longer. under I mean, pressure. Morning, she needs her children even more. Next to and Black William Friars is there giving and full support to his mother. Grown, and as you mentioned, it's stretching all the way back now to William's Tower doing Bridge, what we more than three miles parenting. long. Where I mean, we are sort of now, we're looking Diana. at about an eight-hour sort of wait, just over two miles uh, from the, where the, the Queen wife, lies the in state. And if you think about I mean, that, people a, aren't really going to be able to very see the coffin until mother, too. I think he really nearly 7 o'clock this think, evening. Um, so people here really yeah, are in for look, the long haul. And along the way, you might be able to hear some people have started playing some music to entertain some of the crowds. We've got lots of refreshments, lots of portaloos. I'm told 
of 500 Waterloo's along Despite this route. Let me just introduce problem, you to Ian, who is one of the chaplains, it is uh, to who is helping William people for his along future the route. Just, Ian, King. just talk to me about He's what your role training. is today. So yes, we're part of a multi-faith chaplain is more for reserved support to serve the spiritual needs of the queue for those who've been here for some time. So there's the groups monarchy, of chaplains the between all the bridges just to support people. And what have people been saying to you? What kind of support are they asking for or need or just the conversations they have with you? Well, lots of, I think lots of people want to feel uh, they're part of this. I think the Queen has been a big part of people's lives. Uh, and I think but the, the last couple of years have been really tough on people. Lots of people joker. struggling with the, the pandemic and the cost of living crisis. And I think people just wanted stuff. to express something they're like gratitude sort of to the Queen in her continuity and all of that. So yeah, I think endings are really important. And she tells us that he, he's always been like that. You know, you're, you're talking right about faith now. There's so many different faiths along this queue. It's such a mixture of people, isn't it? I'm loving that. You know, it's profound humanity. The bond humanity. between mother and sons and I think is people, strong. You know, there's something Even under the, the intense scrutiny of cameras, their relationship is natural today, I think, and around well-being. So lots of people are talking about the fact, you know, that they've struggled a lot over the last couple of years, and this feels like people coming together. Uh, in June totally 1991, William was injured in an faiths. accident at school. Uh, the sense of being Diana eight stayed people, by his being hospital bed throughout. Queen, but after his initial visit, Charles this, left so, to attend uh, an official yeah, function. Really positive conversations. His decision to Some put duty before you know, his son provoked grief. sharp criticism. Quite a lot of people have lost people but in the pandemic and want to talk about that. So, so yeah, it's a real for privilege for us to be here today. And you just mentioned it's a privilege for you. How does it feel for you to be here and to be asked to be here and be part of this day that is going to go down in the history books? Himself look oh, it's something really important, I think. I, you know, my parish um, is just here, just by Blackfriars Bridge, so it's just really nice I mean, to be able to I serve people. I don't think the sometimes there's a disconnection sometimes between faith communities uh, and the general population, so it's really lovely to be able to come down here and serve. So, but Diana yeah, was really again seen as the more caring parent. Thank you very much. What a wonderful story, and thank you for speaking to us here on BBC News. And as you can see, there's so many really positive stories and connections, so many friendships that are coming out of the queue. I walked down to... Uh, Borough Market a little bit earlier on. It's about a 10 minute walk, and all you hear is people talking to one another, Protecting connecting the children in any and I think that's the positivity that people will Being take royal from this extremely even long further. wait. And let me just see if I can pull a few people out of the queue. Excuse me, sir, uh, you're on BBC News. How, wh why have you come down today, and where are you from? The pressure has well, been on to maintain a united public London, front, but Diana has now decided to stop the charade. Given us a lot, and it's, it's right to think we some respect Sadly. and go and visit. The Queen, or, or not, uh, but the reality is this. That and a today, does it feel like an emotional day? Does it feel like you're part of a day in the history books? Absolutely, it's kind of something that in our lifetime we've never seen nothing like this. So uh, to come down and pay respects, it just seems the right thing to do. Together, everything's yeah. fine, and the everything's advice is to wear comfy shoes, bring lots of snacks. I can see you've got a bag there. Yes, I've also got a bag here, so yes, plenty of snacks. With your fully prepared for the Duchess of York from the royal family, the world's attention again focuses on Diana. Quite daunting, or you Egypt actually having May a nice time? Because it seems like that was really excited more than usual. My, my press work, coverage. I was quite fortunate. They said, Look, you need to take the time for today to come out, then we were okay. Like with the true that. professional, so she never I'm faltered. I'm just going to make the decision to get in the queue and, and go for it, doesn't matter what. So, yeah, so I've got my snacks and ready to go, so it's good. Wonderful. Well, and, you... and I think the queue might just get longer at the weekend, so yeah, I think so this right it seems to be getting longer now, so yeah. um, this might be a good time to do it. And public Absolutely. duties getting longer by the minute. It depends on the way, some really nice people as well, which make it. Under the intense That's media spotlight, lovely. Diana oh, retains her composure. There you go. So many more friendships. There you go. It's just everyone has come down is, is for their terrible. own reason. Everybody then, to has see a story to tell. You, every and uh, there is a real jewelry, positivity your makeup, your hairdo, in the queue, despite the long waits. You know, everyone's your, happy with that. People have given up their time. They want to sacrifice their time and pay tribute to the Queen and to also be a part history. And she hadn't had anything that would prepare her Thank you. For yes, that. indeed. Uh, that certainly seems After to be more the than sense a decade every time we go over exposure. and talk to people in the queue, she's there used to no the ever -present cameras. whatsoever about the length but of time that But her first encounters with the press wait. before they her engagement with Prince Charles in 1981 were far less Let's controlled. Talk more about what is in store a baptism of fire, it was a case of having to think quickly on her feet. Well, I'm looking over this vast medieval uh, hall, and, um, center of which lies the Queen's coffin really on a raised room. plinth, draped Have in the royal standard, that? guarded yeah. at each corner <laughs> by <laughs> men from no, Sovereign's bodyguard, the foot, the foot guards, and the household cavalry-mounted regiment. They rotate 
That's true. The media whirlwind quickly hours. gathered they're pace. Always, they're always Her here. photograph guaranteed a boost in any magazine both sides sales. Of the coffin she was a world members phenomenon. Of the public who has, Fair game who have for been any queuing, photographer who been could get her in their sights. Many, many hours. Die Mania reached they a get peak here, though, during the a tour of Japan in May 1986. incredibly pensive. What strikes you most is the silence. People are walking past very slowly, stopping when they reach Her Majesty's coffin. The vast majority of people are nodding for a few seconds, some are curtsying, and then they file out through the north door, several wiping away tears as they make their way uh, out through the back of Westminster Hall. It's an extraordinary sight. It's very moving, and as I said, it is silent and pensive as people reflect upon the late monarch. And then... It seems to be a case of even if people no one have had, had predicted a preview such extreme of what this is going to be like, perhaps on television, Hollywood. when it comes Surreal to the real thing, it feels very different. I think it she does. enjoyed the, the enormity I think it terrified of her this. You can see it. it's, it's and then written she, it, it in people's like faces as they walk into this um, huge 900-year-old hall. It's a remarkable and magnificent place. And of course, it's seeped in history. It is where... Previous Abroad, kings Charles and queens and Diana have laid in rest, seen as including foremost the Queen's own mother. They've and appeared father. as a smooth and, and professional double act. In this often stilted the atmosphere they of extreme formality, up her more relaxed the style shines steps. through. To the floor she tackles international of, uh, relations Hall, with her usual straightforward the chat. And the scale Even of this the elderly Emperor Hirohito succumbed. On this plinth is is the Queen's coffin. Formal dinners are the orchestrated predictable are parts of foreign in tours. Their, in their faces. At the and other extreme, Diana has to cope with the unexpected. Uh, to the As on a building site the full of Australian has construction just a few workers. seconds to themselves to think, to nod, to curtsy, to say a few words. But everyone they, gets the same treatment and attention. It is a very, it is a Even very a moving Even a half-clad builder wearing his T-shirt on his and head. And people seem to be taking their own cue. They're not being hurried on in any way. They're just she shows an uncanny ability for just and getting on, on with people from all walks of, of their life. own accord. Yes, that's a good way to put it. It's, there's, there's very little sense of it being controlled. I mean, there's great order here, of course, and you know, the four Diana's the a four patron and plays an active part in the charity Help the, the Aged. Coffin, She's uh, particularly open and relaxed with the candles. elderly. It's an incredibly somber in contrast to the royal inevitably. family's more restrained, hands-off approach, take their time and she's tactile and spontaneous. A few seconds. Uh, nodding, paying your respects before before moving on. There's no sense at all of anybody being hurried uh, to pass through Westminster Hall. And Ben, I don't know how long you've been where exactly you are now, but we saw even the former British Prime Minister Theresa May among the She's mourners coming in a few hours ago. She's a communicator who intuitively creates an immediate Yes, that's rapport. right. I think at about 8 o'clock this morning, uh, Theresa May and her husband, Philip, joined the mourners paying their respects to the Queen. Diana's and also are, particularly at ease with dancers, among as ballet the is a passion of, of hers. Mourners lining up to pay their respects. There are people dressed very formally uh, in black, in black tie, and there are members of the public wearing what people would, would normally wear. She you grew know, too tall to pursue her own ambition to dance, it's, it's but now right, channels her enthusiasm into people, supporting the all professionals. Ages, uh, you know, from, from old to very young, some people dressed very formally, others less so, but all here for a single for person. For ballet, uh, Diana purpose. takes Everybody over where Princess Margaret left off. Very Both moved have added an arts dimension to the royal the, family's the more horse-loving and philistine image. Uh, as they come through this, this historic place. Ben, yes, as her you early desire to perform as a dancer has helped her become a leading uh, player on the public stage. Tower Gardens. People They've also expect a performance rapidly. from their royals. Almost like it or not, trot, Diana has a stage and a waiting hall, audience. It all the shy down, guy image was the size soon outdated. Of the allows for that, allows but things were far from easy to begin with. Once the press had sent a possible romance before engagement was announced, her private life suddenly became public property. This is the real acid test for all royals to be, and the pressure on a 19-year-old was intense. The announcement of the engagement in 1981 meant an immediate move into Buckingham Palace. These protective walls suddenly isolated her. She was totally unprepared for the future. Each person takes their own time to pay their respects at, at the all. Queen's coffin and then people then file out in a more the relaxed way uh, through the, the North Door well and out into, into New Palace Yard. Ben, thank a thing you. What ben to do. Wright she was uh, inside she Westminster was Hall as she was people lonely, pass she was lost. by the Queen's coffin. And what is uh, the feeling as they emerge from that? Their Let's, engagement uh, didn't get off to a good start. Charles left for a five-week official tour of Australia and New Zealand, leaving Diana to cope alone. Leila, what are they saying to you about the time that they had 
and standing there, even if it is a matter of in Australia, well, not even minutes, her husband to be improved his polo game and bask in the glory of finally well, capturing a beautiful young out bride. Of Westminster Hall On his here, return Karen, at another emerging, polo match, uh, Diana the was there to watch really, him play just a, a few a days a before the wedding. People are kind of milling around on the pavement, I think reflective of what they have just seen and just absorbed. But the a lot of emotion beginning here. to tell. You can see people, she burst uh, into with tears tissues, and had to be led their away. Eyes, uh, conversing with the people her they've got, they've gone in with. Anxiety. And I think it's quite a kind of a moment for a pause, just to take a in what they've seen. Plenty of people have said that it meant the so much of to them life. to go and the be able to file soon past the coffin and have that eating private eating moment with the Queen. I'm joined by two people who have just come out of Westminster Hall now, two sisters, Pippa and Lorna, thanks so much for being with us today. Um, just tell us about your time inside Westminster Hall. Well, I arrived down from Richmond this morning and we met about 7 o'clock. This nervous sickness, a gruelling schedule and heavy rain dominated her first taste of an official tour of Wales. The pressure was on. Huge crowds packed the streets to see their first Princess of Wales for almost a century. Diana emerged looking very thin. Three days of walkabouts and functions were daunting um, for a novice princess. And then we walked From the past, start, Charles expected sort of her to follow his lead and take second an place. Era, it was that feeling you had inside of you, um, very, very emotional. Um, she seemed unnatural at the complex really technique good, of the walkabout, showing an intuitive you know, feel for way. working the crowd. Yeah. How much did it mean to you to be here? You said that you had come to see the Queen Mother lying in state. Yes. We it was an exhausting years ago, experience, yeah. but she was um, an instant success it was and her triumph and her high really praise from her husband. Today, incredibly well organised, but it's, it's very much an end of an I era, isn't it? Yes. And yeah. it's just, Things it was very emotional for some people. For some people, it was just interesting to be a witness of history yeah. and to see pageantry done in its absolute best so precise. It was really, really good to be here today. Definitely. What did you make of the atmosphere, both in the queue and then inside? I think it was very good, you know, everybody was talking to one another, asking where they September come from and so on. And, you know, was, there, was, a few months old there was no arguments now, or anything like that, like you know. He moved very, very, very quickly. Was yes. yeah. It was also really another really well organised. Yeah. On their engagement day in February 1981, they were billed as the romance of the century. They'd come through a bizarre courtship, hurried and distorted by a prime press. You now she was finally it, able you know, to say if all the passed. attention had been so, strained. I mean, we don't want to fill very the next how long this will happen again. But I just think, well, I might be too old to do, you know, the, the next time. You're never too old. Push me in a wheelchair. After now, a long I was search, very, Charles, the serious-minded heir to the yeah. throne, yeah. finally well chose the well-born girl, Lady Diana 100%. Spencer, yeah. who'd once Curious. lived next door Pippa on the Lord, Sandringham so estate. For being with us. As one observer noted, I, know, I think it's really interesting along, to hear from people just the different invented. aspects of their, their visits here. As for Pippa Diana, Lord, she captured the atmosphere her prince in the queue. and the man of That's her dreams. That's something that everyone has spoken about, just the convivial nature of the queue, how people have shared On July 29th, stories, 1981, they were married together, in a media event watched by 700 people million people worldwide. And then joined up with other people and shared for a monarchy this with a rather staid traditional image, the arrival of a young and beautiful royal consort was a valuable boost. Born a commoner, she was a vital link with life outside the palace wall. Lena, the entire thank you very world much. stood still Lena, to see this young People Cinderella marry her Prince Charming. Charming. After an hour or so, many hours long wait, just talking to people who are approaching where we are, they're reporting that they got here about 6.30 this morning. So the wait has gone down compared to when we arrived here. It was the fairy tale dawn. everyone had uh, been looking it is for. Moving more quickly, but, had Diana but really that could be very prince? temporary as people come into London. As the weekend approaches, the queues get longer and longer. Now, the BBC is offering a dedicated stream of the Queen's lying in state for those who want to pay their respects but who can't make it to London. Or Out of this chrysalis came this, which she was, this gorgeous butterfly. She was his dazzling future queen who had a new dimension plan for the royal capital. I remember the first year of Australia in the street. I thought he looked so proud of her. And he used to touch her constantly, which I think is a good sign in any language. He used to pat her on the hand. And the whole look for the day he said, I'm so proud of you. I think that was a very happy time then. Perhaps it was an ordeal for her. It was almost sort of like Yeah, you just...
such a lovely lady, and I was lucky enough to marry.